Discussion and past possible board action on any resignation to date. Number six. Okay. You said seven. Oh, did I say seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number six. Then. Discussion and possible board action on any resignation to date. Um, Mr. Noble. Mm -hmm. Yes. May 13, 2019. Mr. Noble and the members of the Henrietta Board of Education. My association with this board and Mr. Noble has been nothing but positive, and I thank each of you for that. But at this time, I have decided to resign my seat effective immediately. It is no secret the financial crisis Oklahoma schools have faced over the past several years. It is with pleasure I can say that our school district has met every challenge head on, survived, and moved forward with new programs. I leave knowing how fortunate our students, faculty, and staff are in the hands of such professional leadership, and I feel certain we will continue to grow. I would like to thank the voters who placed their confidence in me in me and allowing me to serve the last four years. I have been humbled and thoroughly enjoyed this opportunity. Sincerely, Gene M. Duncan. Well, if we all vote no, you have to stay. Okay. Do you want to roll call vote first? Oh, yes. Let's do roll call vote first. Okay. Oh, yes, we have a motion. I don't have a motion yet. Is that I'll make a motion to accept Ms. Duncan's resignation. Okay. I'll second that. Regretful of All in favor, Pam Bielko? Yes. David Fuller? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Well, it's certainly been a pleasure on our end. So thank you so much. We have a couple of parting gifts for you here. Oh. <laughs> And it says, I'm going to break it. An appreciation for your service at Henrietta Public Schools to Ms. Jenny Duncan, Henrietta Public Schools. So, there you go. Thank you. Right here, guys. your uh, parking space now. Oh, so. Lord, that was a priority out there, too. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be watching for that trash going in there. I know. That's, I started bringing my glass bag today. <laughs> <laughs> I might still sneak on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll act like we didn't see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Let's say you watch that. I think I'll go watch the match for that. It's more fun. It's more fun. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm number seven. Vote to approve or, or not approve request for state aid and or federal funds for the school's general fund supplement 307 forms for the 2018-2019 school year. Mr. Noble. <coughs> this supplemental here is um, we're going to be taking this out to add into our general fund to carry us over the rest of the year. Okay. This is going to help just offer any expenses. Gotcha. Any motion? I will make that motion. Okay. Second. All in favor, Kim Bielko? Yes. David Bullock? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. James Bean? Yes. Item number eight. Discussion with possible action on the encumbrances and financial reports for the 2018-2019 school year. Would you clarify, what's the Crisis Prevention Institute? But that is a, it's a de-escalation, uh, student de-escalation thing we used out the strategies we used out the elementary school to provide students who are needing of restraint. Oh. And it kind of certifies us so, this, so we're not liable for lawsuit. I understand. Is that a yearly fee? Yes, ma'am. What's the Barlow Education Management? Barlow, um, it's the, it's the uh, organization. They do two things. One, they help with federal programs. And number two, they it's, we have a consultant that comes and works on PLCs, um, professional learning communities with the principals and teachers. How often do they come when needed? or They, they have a regularly? schedule. It just depends on which site, the elementary or middle school or high school. It just depends on how they're their uh, schedule works and they're always in constant contact and and uh they're actually we're here today I believe. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Lincoln Red has used Barlow for I wish I bet you fifteen years or more. At yeah. least ten. Mm -hmm. I know other scores use them also. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of that. We pay a lot of their, a lot of their fee comes out of uh, federal money, so it doesn't come out of our general fund. Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually come out of the school fund, it's out of federal No, money. it comes out of federal, federal programs. Most of it.
Who's, who's Nancy McKay, the 550? 550. Nancy McKay is a, a financial consultant we've used for five years. What did she do? Originally, she came in to help train our office staff because when I came here, we had a large turnover in the central office. Yes. And we were doing in house um, training, and because at the time we had in house treasurer and everything was kind of done differently. Mm -hmm. And I brought her in to train the ladies and the people here that work in the central office. Mm -hmm. Is that a yearly fee or what is that? No, it's based on how much we use her. And we're okay. using her less and less. But there was at the beginning, first couple of years and couple, when we had the turnover, mm -hmm. people come and go and we use her more. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That's what that's who she is. She's been really good to help us um, look at the budget every year mm -hmm. to kind of break down where we can save money um, mm -hmm. and watch our carryover so that we're always constantly looking at the year ahead, okay. trying to prepare for any changes or she any budget losses we is, is she a private consultant or is she mm -hmm. with the firm? She's she's private? private yeah. she's, uh, she does our projection. You're going to get this cut, you're going to get this amount of money. Mm -hmm. Pretty spot on. Is she? Yeah, because mm -hmm. she works at like larger schools. I think we're the only small. We're the only small schools she works in. She works for uh, Putman City, Mo yeah, Putman City, Mustang, yeah. Moore. She yeah. worked for Oklahoma City Public Schools. She worked for, uh, she worked for Jinx for years, thirty-five years. She was her CFO, and she had at one point. She's kind of scaled down now. Two hundred fifty-six schools. Oh my goodness. And uh, she also teaches doctoral level classes at OU, OSU on school finance. She's the, uh, the premier person. The state. guru to go she to. She is. That's right. right. A lot of schools use her. And we're the, we're the only small school she, she works with. Mm -hmm. Maybe you mention her name in any kind of workshop or anything. She's, a lot of times when we send our people to go to training in Oklahoma City, she's usually the person put, putting on the workshop. Oh, really? And so it's nice because we actually, she comes here and we, she'll spend the day with us and we can pick her brain. She's also, she keeps me abreast of things going on in Oklahoma City. At the um, legislative? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. What would we do if we didn't have her to do that? Would we find somebody else or would we not have that position? If, if we didn't have her? Right. Uh, well, I don't know. I hate to think we didn't. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we could, but it yeah. would be. Um, if she's not the only person that does that, I just think she's the most qualified and knowledgeable in the state. I just feel we're fortunate that we have her. And I don't know if we'll have her forever, but mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know that she, um, um, mainly she's she's busy with big schools. And she's done over $400 million in bonds, consulted up, uh, schools with over $400 million in school bonds. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and she just, she's doing a multi-hundred thousand or multi-hundred million dollar bond now. She sounds like a very knowledgeable person. She is. Very, she's been very uh, good for us. Good to us. I'm sorry, Brad. I just, I just like to ask questions. I don't like to vote on something I don't understand. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor, Pam Bielton? Yes. Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number nine, vote to approve or not approve fundraisers for 2018-2019. Um, football coaches are here. There's what to talk about there. Sure. That won't be. Uh, yeah, we're we're looking to do a fundraiser for the football team. Uh, what we're looking to do is like a car and bike show uh, where we can actually get some entries uh, where they would uh, pay for the entries for the cars themselves and actually try to get gate as well. 
uh, do a little bit of silent auction stuff, going around to different companies, trying to see what kind of donations we can get, some other kind of stuff, and just trying to make uh, money for the football team itself. It's more for potential uniforms for upcoming years or any other equipment that we might need. It's mainly just trying to broaden, broaden our uh, uh, money and, and funds that we can have to uh, for equipment for football all around. So uh, uh, it's really just we will have one of my coaches has a, a parent that does live music. We have that. Uh, I've already talked to one of my parents' dads that could potentially do something for food wise. Still open concession stands, just trying to do something where it opens it up to the community and does things not just where we're asking for money, but we're also giving back to the community with uh, something out there for people. So, really just good. trying to get equipment for the team overall. So, are you going to do it at the football field? Uh, I would like to do it down that down there, but depending on how many cars and bikes that we get, we might have to move it up here. You know, it just really depends on where we're at. I would like to have it at the football field that kind of showcase the field and uh, uh, I'd have all the coaches and football players working it. Uh, I've worked um, talking with some people trying to get some shirts made and everything and just have different things where we can get uh, Henrietta gear being sold, every little thing just to get money and just getting our, mm -hmm. our, our team out there to the community as much as possible and, and just trying to get some fun. So Have you done this before? Uh, I've done some sort of fundraisers just through county parks, but not this specifically. But I definitely have, uh, between my other coaches and stuff, done it. My, uh, my degree, uh, I've had some practice with it when uh, I did my internship with the University of Tulsa, just doing some fundraisers when I was uh, just an intern with them, just trying to get things and miss some of the ideas that I, we bounced off in some of those meetings there. And I'm like, man, this would be perfect in a town. Here, so, but yeah, you never get shown. We have car shows anyway. Oh yeah, I mean, when, yeah. When we have but car see, shows. And, we have and, show. That's where I want to do the car show, and also have a silent auction where it's, it has some other little, just little things where we can get, uh, just go to the different stores as easy as gift, uh, gift cards. Try to get uh, uh, possibly some of the great great schools just to build a little basket up. Have companies make baskets where they donate. And put in there for for donations, and and then go from there to get it off. I know uh, when we have the car shows downtown, they always bring those bouncy houses in. Yeah. And those are great for the younger children. Yes. You know. I, and and I think they share a portion of the profits. Of course, they have to be paid, but I think yeah. they share a portion of the profits, which is an idea. It's good for the little ones to have something to yeah. do too. And I, I've thought about that. Just doing just doing a lot of different things for kids. Uh, one of the places is a barbecue place, just having bar mm -hmm. some barbecue, some live music, just yeah. and all get around kind of deal. Right. Sounds like fun. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you can have your, uh, after we vote on this, if you get your flyers made up, that'd be a good place to pass them out that cruise night. That, mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I've already, I've already, yeah, on, on. I've <laughs> already thought about yeah. that. Yeah, because yeah, cruise <laughs> night draws yes. a lot of people. Yes. It really does. I was amazed. Good. That's amazing. That. So, yeah. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Do we vote on these individually, or do we vote on them as a whole? I see. Uh, I don't have anything else here. Whether I Yes. Yes. Uh, number ten, vote to approve or not approve application for temporary appropriations for the 2019-2020 school year. Because <coughs> this is the money we're hoping that we'll receive next year. Uh, the state of Oklahoma will send this out on appropriations, projecting what we'll receive. If we receive all this, that's great. We, we have cuts the past several years, and so these numbers have always came down. Um, the state of Oklahoma is projecting for our general fund will be eight million, uh, a little over eight million dollars. The building fund, uh, two hundred ninety thousand dollars, and our child nutrition fund, six hundred eighty-four thousand dollars, almost six hundred eighty-five thousand um, dollars. We'll get these into our three major accounts um, next year, and if if there are no budget cuts, this is what our 
pretty close to what our budget will be next year. Are these state funds or federal? Um, this right here is everything we're, we're going to receive. Federal, Except state. not federal, not federal. Just state. <laughs> state. Federal, federal money, we'll get that when we go through, like Barlow, we'll, we apply and then we get reimbursements. Mm -hmm. And that fluctuates every every year as well. Yeah. Um, we'll get projections. We can kind of project what we'll get, but it's it's all just educated guesses. Yeah. And so we try to be conservative and things to try to cover some of the shortfalls. How do the numbers look compared to last year? Uh, uh, about the same. About the same. Mm -hmm. Well, with the new governor, who seems to be education minded. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, last year, last year was was better, and we actually received the first time I can remember and. Oh, seven, eight years. We actually got textbook money for the first time. Wonderful. So, and we haven't had that in years. Yeah. And in our school district, we got about fifty-six thousand dollars. And yeah. textbook money could either for anything, but it was nice to finally get that. And we've never gotten that since mm -hmm. well, years before I came here. Mm -hmm. But that's what our, that's what we're our, our <coughs> estimates will need be next year, and I just hope that, that comes through. Mm -hmm. All in favor, Pam Yes. David Brown? Yes. James Weaves? Yes. Item number 11, the Board of Education to consider adoption of resolution approving and affirming a lease purchase with Standard Capital Finance LLC for mm -hmm. kitchen equipment and authorization the execution of same, acknowledging assignment of lease or's interest in, in lease slash purchase agreement designating these lease transactions as qualified tax exempt obligation <coughs> and authorizing school district officials to execute any and all necessary documents in connection with the uh, aforementioned transactions. Um, and what, what that big paragraph really says is that our kitchen equipment is old <laughs> and we need to start <laughs> updating it. And matter of fact, it's so old that we're having trouble actually finding parts that are becoming obsolete. Um, and we spend a lot of money every year on repairs and it's going to get more and more expensive because the equipment's sure. getting older. And what we want what we want to do here in our, our um, I estimated we could what we could afford is one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. But Bertha's gonna talk in a second. She has it down to one hundred and eleven thousand dollars. What we would do is we would go out and um, purchase the needed uh, kitchen equipment this summer to get installed this summer so we have for next school year. And instead of paying large uh, repair bills every month, we'll just make a lease payment and have new stuff. And and Bertha made a list, went through things that we desperately need, and she highlighted this. You want to just say a couple of things about just kind of maybe, maybe just, highlight uh, a couple things. That I've gotten beat if I went through and, and tried to try to decide the necessary needs what we had to have. Um, I kind of listed those in order, and then I went through and did a bid process and, and reached out to several companies, and some companies reached out to me, and these were some of the lowest prices that I could get. Um, you can kind of see there are a few things that you'll see that there is a lower price, but I know from experience that it is not a quality product. I know from a, so I would really like to stay away from those. Um, but I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress as far as uh, there's still a few I think I can get lower. And I'll definitely do that. But that 111, it, it will not go up. It should go down unless I run into some unexpected costs. Two of our biggest projects that I'm really excited about are getting a new walk-in freezer at the elementary and a new walk-in cooler at the high school. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have been in our buildings lately, but the high school walk-in at the elementary, we actually had the door fall off a couple years ago. Um, our stuff is old. Our stuff is rusty. Our stuff is terrible. Our stuff is. Stuff is it's almost embarrassing when people come to use our facilities. Yeah, how was that? Good idea. I really don't. I would guess that that stuff at the elementary, I don't even know, dude. It's the awful shape of green you've ever seen. So I'm thinking 60s or 70s. It's like real. I mean, and, and I come in and people are like, where? I mean, when the door fell off, I'm like, what am I? And they're like, we've never even seen I mean, it's good years we've even seen a door like this. I mean, stuff happens. It's, yeah, it's comical, but it's not. I mean, that could have really gotten someone hurt. And we've just been dealing with it, and I've been patching up the best I can patch it. Um, some of the stuff, you see that pass through heated warmer. Um, it's expensive. It's $9,000. Um, it, was, it was born in August of 93. I did get an actual date on it. They don't make the parts for it anymore. And we've been looking through for several months with that. So I mean, we are just in some desperate need of, of some equipment. 
And when we look at when we look at the cost that we spend on repairs, we could make at least an annual lease payment. What we do is we make an annual lease payment about seventeen thousand dollars. And we would And that, that would cover all repairs that and would, so forth. Would, we we all 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 <laughs> we, so we could get rid of some of this. And I'm going to say this isn't everything. No, this isn't this everything. Is gonna, I wish it was. No, but what we'll have to do is we're going to have to, and this is when this is paid off, we're going to have to go back and look and see if we just, and there's going to be more and more stuff. But if we don't do something, this is going to get where we can't feed kids. Of and we're we're I mean, we're doing about what three thousand mills a day. Oh, definitely. And so we feed we a have, lot. Our kids we have a good program, and our kids eat. Yeah, and we have we have to have equipment. I mean, it's just. And some of it, like I said, is seriously unsafe. Are these warranties? What kind of? I'm trying to have? get um, the dishwasher is a lifetime warranty. Uh, they just vary. I, I've got all the specs here. Some of them are five years. Some of them are ten years. Some of them. Average about five years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In about five years, we're going to have to do this again. Yeah. Yeah. But not on this equipment, but the stuff yeah. that we're going to we can get by with now. In about five years. But that this would put us in really good. I really feel like this would put us in. Especially good. highlight what you need, not what you want, but what you need. Right? Yeah. The only yeah. Definitely. The only thing that's a want on there, and I, I probably should, are the lunch tables at the elementary, and those are the only thing that's a want that I, I could do it with. But those down there, are, they're not broken, but they're heavy and they're cumbersome, and the ladies have a hard time picking them up. To where we got spoiled, we have a few new ones, and they have like an automatic lift, and they're really nice. But those are the only things that I, I could, I could budge on and, and do without. But everything else is a need. <laughs> I make that motion. I'll second. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. David Holder. Yes. Randy Brown. Yes. James Williams. Yes. Item number 12. Vote to approve or not approve the renewal agreement with Barlow Education Management <coughs> Services for the 2019-2020 school year. And this one here, the last time you Barlow broke up in two, two sections. This one here is on a the federal programs management. Uh, Charlie Shields uh, has worked for Henrietta Schools for years and years, way before I came. And what we do here is we, he helps with all our title monies. And the laws change on the federal government and he helps us stay in compliance. Because it would literally be a full-time job keeping up with all the state, or the federal regulations and all our changes. And so he helps us manage that, making sure we're spending money the way we're supposed to spend it. And uh, advising us on different changes in the law. So we don't, Spend it when we're not supposed to. That price varies from last year. Maybe. No, he stays pretty much the same. We don't, and, and because he said he does the same programs. Every school has different federal programs. Some schools have more federal programs than we do. Some schools have a lot less. But our size school, we have certain titles, title monies, and with the school our size, this is his fund, this is his cost. Now, if we were Broken Arrow, it'd probably be five times that. Or if we were you know, goatee bow, it would probably be half that. So it just depends on the size. Because every school has different title monies. But the amount of money he handles for us, this is what his, his cost is. <coughs> and this is just a renewal. Um, and Charlie Shields, you know, like I said, he's very familiar with this school. He's been here years and years before I came. Yes. David Ford? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 13. Vote to approve or not approve renewal agreement with Clearwater Enterprises for national natural gas supplier for the 2019-2020 school year. This one's a little easier one. Uh, this is just a renewal for our natural gas supplier. Uh, of course, you know, uh, all natural gas and things vary, but uh, this is just a renewal, and I don't foresee any changes in the cost of the contract. So, this is this one's more of a simple one. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make the motion that we approve. I'll second. I'm in favor. Yes. David Ford. Yes. Randy Brown. Yes. James Williams. Yes. Uh, number 14, vote to approve or not approve renewal agreement with the Department of Rehabilitation Services for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, this one here is also a renewal. 
from uh, services that we received last year from the same vendor. And I recommend that we continue uh, with the, with the uh, service. What did they do? The transition service here. Um, this is from special ed. Oh. And on, on special ed, we have um, we have different kids and different uh, different IEPs. Mm -hmm. And what we try to do is we try to find vendors or <laughs> services that we can meet the needs of every child. Like a wraparound program. Uh, well, some kids some kids are going to need. Um, Different, different things and so we try to provide we try to find uh, vendors who help us with certain type of kids with certain IEPs um, we have like um, physical therapy occupational ther therapy and uh, testing and things like that so <coughs> but we try to we try to um, you know, especially we, we try not to, not, I should say, not cut corners. We try to make sure we, we're getting the best video we can. We don't, we work, we work, because we have some, we have such a variety of uh, students, we gotta make sure we cover all our bases. Yes. Yes. Item number 15, vote to approve an unapproved renewal contract with Jenkins and Associates for treasurer and payroll services for the 2019-2020 school year. Um, I recommend that we renew our contract with Jay Jenkins. Um, brought him here three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, he does our treasury and he also does our payroll. Um, his prices, you know, his prices didn't go up. Um, so, um, I mean, I'm, I'm real happy with the service. He's a very knowledgeable, certified CPA. Um, he's helped us straighten out a lot of things over the past few years that we need to straighten out. Question on that is: mm -hmm. Is he strictly? Do they work strictly with schools? He does. <clears throat> so none of our accountants in our community are like I can do this kind of work. Well, he is a school specialist, Jay is, and that's what he does. Um, and school school finance is a lot different than business finance. And he, he can help us, he helps us do projections and things as well. And um, that's, just, that's just his expertise. Mm -hmm. And he does schools all around, all across the state of Oklahoma. So you eliminated that position? Mm -hmm. We eliminated two positions in here when I came. Saved us fifty-three thousand dollars. He absorbed it. Mm -hmm. So, and his annual fee is twenty-four hundred, so he saved money. And we don't pay FICA like, uh, insurance <laughs> retirement. Right. He's, he's a vendor. Yeah, he's a vendor. Yeah. 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 Don't the employees are happy? I'll second it. All in favor, Pam Gilson? Yes. Mm -hmm. David Ford? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. James Weeks? Yes. I'm number 16. Vote to approve or not approve the renewal service agreement with the OSSVA Employment Services Program for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, I recommend that we renew our contract with OSSVA. Um, we've been using their employment services. Well, I think every school does. Continuously. So, and, you, and we're an OSS VA member school. This is just one of the services they provide. 
They're the ones that put on the program the training I went to. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody else out there do this. Is it? No, no. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, you don't have much choice. It's either either join or be the only school in the there you go. Or we're going to be interviewing. <laughs> I like that motion. Also. All in favor, Pam Bianca? Yes. David Fuller? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Reed? Yes. I have number 17. Vote to approve or not approve. Membership renewal for the OS SBA for the 2019-2020 school year. I recommend that we renew our membership. Um, they do, they provide a, a lot of services. For example, uh, training for you guys. Yeah. Um, if you have a question, you can call them. You're a member. Our school's a member, and um, call them many times. yeah, you can. That's, that's, so. They were very open, you know. In the I mean, you know, call us. We don't care. That's what our job is. Yeah, we, we, uh, if it's not a, if it's not a specific legal question, we uh, we we call them. Uh, if it's ever something that's going to be a long drawn out legal issue, we have an attorney. Mm -hmm. But they charge every time you call them. But these and, people don't. No, that's right. Once you pay a fee, yeah. it's, it's, you call them all you want. But now if it's something in depth, or if it's something that's going to take, going to be a, a legal action or a legal matter. Uh, they'll tell you uh, to get your retained uh, legal counsel, which we have. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's a general question um, or a policy question, or say, hey, is, our, is this policy okay, or do you think we should tweak it? They'll look at it and they'll tweak it for us and send it back. Wonderful. Or they'll so. help us build the policy. If there's something that mm -hmm. we're wanting to do, they'll help us build it into our current policy. So they do a lot of policy. And if it's something mm -hmm. that's going to take a little bit more finesse, they will, they're will they smart and they tell you, uh, get a hold of your legal counsel, but in the broad terms, here's, here's the answer. But if you want specifics and you have a real issue, you know, get a hold of your guy. And and it's 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 one call is worth the price. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Randy Brown. Yes. James Williams. Yes. Item number 18, vote to accept or not accept resignation letter. Ms. Tara Christie, as of May 17, 2019. April 29, 2019, dear Mr. Noble and board members, I have enjoyed the past four years as a teacher at Henrietta Public Schools. I have been granted the opportunity to come back to my alumni to teach and influence the minds of elementary students. I have had great mentors along the way to make this experience lifelong. The administration has been eager to help in any way and answer any questions along this journey. I have decided to resign as a teacher from Henrietta Public Schools as of May 17, 2019. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity, Tara Christie. What did she teach? Special ed. Elementary, elementary special ed. Got three points. And Adler attempted to replace. Looking for you. Yeah. I'll make that motion. All in favor, Pam Gilkin? Yes. David Bullard? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 19. Vote to convene into executive session to discuss employment of those individuals listed on attached Exhibit A and to discuss the employment of A, one, elementary first grade teacher for the 2019-2020 school year as authorized by 25 Oklahoma State Section 307B1. Yes. Time is seven oh nine. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Executive session minutes, discussion held, no votes were taken. Item number 22, vote to rehire or table the employment of attached Exhibit A list for 2019-2020 and the hiring of one position item for the 2019-2020 school years, A, one elementary first grade teacher, the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, Mr. Noble, um, floor. Yes, thank you. Um, on A, the one elementary first grade teacher, I'd like to recommend we hire Sarah Duncan, first grade physician for the 2019-20 school year. And um, I want to read the, the, the exhibits. Um, I want to start with I want to start with the elementary. This is our, our recommend, my recommendation. Of certified teachers for the rehire list for on the rehire list for 2019-2020. Um, Kathy Bailey, Rachel Born, Connie Brooks, Ashley Burton, uh, Tara Christie would leave received her resignation letter. She will move on beyond that. Okay. Ashley Corn, Felicia Dozer. Lori Enos, Lori Freeman, Harley Fry, Sandy Gaither, Cheryl Gillen, Molly Gillespie, Angela Glover, Laura Goodner, Linda Harrelson, Matea Harris, Beatrice Hodge, Jenny Holder, Jenny Huckleby, Kelly James, Michelle Joes, Amy Johnson, Beverly Keel, Aaron Lauren, Sherry Miller, Sally Moore, Lori Mullinex, Pam Palmer, Colin Rogers, Tacey Smith, Sims, I'm sorry, Leslie Smith, August Smith, Autumn Smith, Andrew Spurlock, Nikki Story, Lucretia Stout, Crystal Williams, Sherry Whitham. On the middle school certified rehire list, I'd like to recommend the following. Tina Berry, Monica Brown, Chris Burns, Erica Carter, Vanessa Denker, Callie Dodge, Brenda Dotson, Nadine Graham, Mike Hughes, Susan Kelch, Kent Lackey, Lori Mann, Michelle Mitchell, Dustin Moscow, Kirk, uh, I'm sorry, Kirk Ruth, Christy Stidham, Kim Taylor, Dominic Tregesser, Dorothy Walker, Christy Wells, and Debbie Wyatt. And on the high school retire list, I'd like to recommend the following. Sammy Brake Craig, Jeffrey Shalaki, Cynthia Clark, Brittany Copeland, um, Colton Converse, but he is resigned. So we'll take him off the list. Cody Dawson, Tim Gillespie, Brian Grabman, Kara Hargrave, Ben Harned, Gary Help. Jill Huff, John Johnson, Darren Johnson, Alan Montgomery, Karen Osterbach, Jane Prawl, Jan Prawl, sorry, Jason Reimer, Kathy Snyder, Rusty Snyder, Tracy Sontag, Lisa South, Claudia Brownfield, Ryan Swallow, Lindell Threat, um, Clayton Vaughn, and Karen Willis. Separately, um, as part A, and then as the single position, will it go as two separate items? Yes. Yes. Let's do the attached. You want to do that? Which one do you want to do first? Okay. Let's do the. Uh, Exhibit first on the certified teachers. Make, motion. Make that motion. Got to have the motion. Okay. I'll second. So 
Okay. All in favor, Pam Bioka? Yes. David Bowles? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. In the motion to hire one elementary first grade school teacher. I make that motion on point two eight. Okay. I'll second. All in favor, Kim Bell? Yes. David Bowles? Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Welcome back, teachers. Thank you, thank you for all your hard work and we appreciate you <coughs> coming back. <coughs> Item number 23, HESA report. Put it out here. Okay. Item number 24, APA report. Put it out here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we started negotiations last week and we also had a meeting and elected a new president for the upcoming school year, Miss Leslie Smith. <laughs> take over the reins. You don't um, show up to one meeting. And <laughs> <laughs> they throw you under the bus. Yes. Yes. Uh, we went to delegate assembly this past weekend and held a lot. We're hoping to see some promising things coming from our legislature. It looks I promising. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much and welcome to your new position. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, principals, I think uh, Mr. Williams is the only one we have here. Everyone else is yeah. at senior dinners and, mm -hmm. okay, and everything else. Uh, Ms. Really? Matlock, we had our fifth grade promotion tonight, so that's where Ms. Matlock was attending. Okay. That was the first time we actually had it at the uh, auditorium. Good. Usually we did it at the elementary gymnasium, so the teachers want to do something a little more special for them this year. Yep. So that's, she was at that today. Um, we've had a lot of end of year testing benchmarks, star scores. We just got done with those last week or so. A lot of field trips and awards assemblies we're good, doing right now. Um, we actually had 13 students this year with perfect attendance the whole year. Wonderful. So we actually had, I think, one student who had two years straight, one student who had three years, and actually had a student who has had four years of straight perfect attendance. Wow. Um, coming up, we have our Super Kids Bash, which is a AR award. You know, they have to meet certain criteria. We have 70 kids who met that this year. They had to either get 100 points on their AR, they had to meet their goal every nine weeks, they had to have 100 objectives met on their accelerated math, or have perfect attendance with no discipline infractions for the whole year. Mm -hmm. And we had 70 kids do that. Wow. So, so other than that, like I said, we got That's a bunch wonderful. of end of year stuff going on, field trips. That's great. So. That's great. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Item number 26, Athletic Director's Report. Uh, I just want to touch base with you guys about the uh, spring sports. Um, had a successful spring this year. Our boys baseball team was just short of winning the districts, taking Holdenville three games. Our girls softball won their district championship this year. Uh, collectively, we won two regional championships, one runner-up this spring. And we had three teams make it to the state championships. Our softball team finished eighth at the state championships. Our girls uh, golf team was sixth and our boys tennis team finished third over the weekend. And we had two All-Staters this year, Laura Lee in softball and then Emily Potter in golf. All right. So I think we had a really su successful year as far as our spring sports are concerned. Um, just to give you a, just a little bit of, I did a little bit of looking and research. Financially, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we started this year with a little bit of a hole as far as having to pay for things we had last year, but we were able to overcome that. Uh, we've paid all our bills are paid up to this moment that we owe anyone that includes all our sporting goods stores, everything. So we're in good shape there. And during this time, uh, in the past, I know that when I was here before, we bought all the uniforms out of the big budget. Mm -hmm. Now we buy it out of the athletic budget, and we were able to, along with pay all our officials, all our all our debts that we have, we were able to purchase uh, uh, uniforms for both the boys and girls track team this year. The boys and girls tennis team also had new uniforms and warm-ups. Girls uh, golf team got new tops this year. Our softball uniform, our softball team got new uniforms this year, along with the basketball uniforms for boys. And then wrestling, um, which we just started back with wrestling, they had that, they got new suits and warm-ups. 
So we have a little bit of money left over in there, not a whole lot, but it's at least something mm -hmm. to get started with, with next year. And I want to thank, too, our Booster Club. Uh, they, they bought uniforms uh, for our girls basketball team because when we had those move-ins come in, we didn't have the sizes for some of those kids. And, and at that time, we didn't have the funding to, to cover everything, and they helped out mm -hmm. by purchasing uniforms for the girls basketball team. So that was really good. And they have been outstanding all year, whether it be the football booster club, the basketball or the baseball booster clubs. They've been great to us. We'll be hosting several camps this summer, including basketball, softball uh, camps here. We'll have the high full uh, camp here in, in June, correct? We're moving, it to, we're moving it up two weeks so the weather's going to be nicer. And um, we asked the high pools a couple years ago if we could move it. And so, um, they finally were worked it out and put us on the best weekend. So, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be having that. Uh, yeah. Miss Wells is, uh, we're finally going to get some banners hung in that gymnasium. And it's, it's, it's right. needed to be done for years. It just hasn't been done. She's working on the very first one right now. Uh, we're going to see how that works out, put it up, see what it looks like, whether we need to make it bigger or not. And we're going to start with the 1977 Boys uh, Tennis State Champions. And their names will be listed along with their coach. And we're going to start out with those state championships that we've acquired over the years, and we'll also do the state runner-ups. That's what we're going to start with. Then we'll see where we go from there, what kind of funding we can raise each year to go ahead and, and do that. So, But we need something in that gym. It just looks so barren when you get there. So we're going to, we're going to do that, get that started. So... Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, with the football practice today, Mr. Doble and I did. Uh, we were very impressed. There were 38 kids out there, and that's just sophomores and juniors. That's not including the 15, the 16, or 17 freshmen that we will have uh, next year. So we're looking at somewhere around 55 to maybe 60 kids uh, in football. Uh, they're going to be practicing the next two weeks, and then on the 25th they're going to have a spring game, and that's on a Saturday. They're going to try to have a spring game mm -hmm. so, to, to invite everyone in. They'll have a concession. They'll have some other things going on with their booster club as far as to raise a little bit of money to help support their team. So I'm very excited about what we've accomplished this year. I think it's been a good year. I think we got some really fine coaches and uh, looking forward to a really good 2019-20. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number 27, uh, maintenance director's report. Uh, he's not here. Okay. Uh, 28, superintendent's report. Okay. Uh, like Doug said, he and I went to football practice, and coach said he didn't think either one of them should start. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. So. I said you and I went to football practice, and coach said neither one of them should probably start. Not anymore. <laughs> Maybe not ever. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm but sorry. we did show up. <laughs> no, no, okay. Um, one thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, in this. In the, I've mentioned this uh, briefly, I think, but I just kind of want to make a make it public here. Um, in September 10th, um, I want to have a transportation uh, bond election. Um, our fleet is getting old. I'll have all the numbers, but I can tell you that we're spending uh, over forty thousand dollars a year in bus repairs. Mm -hmm. Our average bus is approaching twenty years old. Um, it's not a, a vanity thing, I, not because I want to have brand new school buses. I think it's a safety thing. We're sending kids out um, all over across the state of Oklahoma on buses that are getting older and older and older. Um, the cost of repairing these buses are getting higher. Um, it's like a used car. Once you have to start fixing things, this is going to keep going. Um, we'll have to uh, go to resolution in in June. It says that we will uh, do a bond select to the building bond. Uh, this will be a transportation bond only. A transportation bond we can only buy um, or only can only use it for transportation. Um, I'll have it broke down. Um, we'll have it. We'll have flyers, just like we did the other bond. I'll have the cost um, of the bond, um, and we're, we're looking at not raising taxes, um, but we are looking at getting a new fleet. Um, a new uh, replacement of Suburbans with some vans 
Um, for example, when um, cheerleaders go somewhere, they won't have to take a big bus. We put them on a 15 passenger van, mm -hmm. save some money. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to surplus over the summer, or, or I'm sorry, the fall, um, all of our buses except maybe a few that we're going to pull back as extra uh, backups. But um, we'll have the, in June, once we vote to do this, we will we'll let the public know exactly what we're wanting, exactly how much it's going to cost. But we're not, we're looking at it, we're anticipating it not raising taxes. We're looking at being able to, to extend what we're doing now mm -hmm. and um, getting a new fleet. Mm -hmm. um, how many buses are you talking about? We're looking at we're looking at getting eight buses, route buses. Mm -hmm. We're looking at getting an activity bus. Yes. We're looking at two vans, and we're looking at a new um, driver's ed car. And that would get us all up to date with our um, vehicles. Um, the reason I just want to make sure we understand the reason we want to do this is because it's a safety thing, oh, and okay. it is a, it is a, it's a huge expense on the district. For the same amount of money, forty thousand dollars a year, we could have <laughs> we have a ready fleet. Uh, basketball, for example, we send we send a group of fifth graders off on a cold night on a bus, and you could talk to any of our bus drivers how many times our kids have, our buses have broken down and we've had to go get them. And it's just it's uh, and we send kids out every day. Um, you know, we, we about eight hundred kids a day ride our buses on the routes, mm -hmm. and uh, our buses are just getting old. Yeah, it's just time. It's time that we uh, we do it, and at, and over the summer is when we will start advertising it. We'll have our um, all the information will become for, forthcoming mm -hmm. in the summer, but September tenth is when we're anticipating it. Okay. Okay. Um, make sure I think that's all I want to say about the bond. All right. Thank you, Mr. Noble. Mm -hmm. uh, board comments. I'm just so proud of what STEM is doing and FFA and how, you know, it would, you take a shot and you're like, I hope this goes and I hope they grab onto it and everybody loves trying mm -hmm. something new. And it seems like all the new programs that we've put into place just in the last couple years have really just taken flight and I'm so proud of that. I love any opportunity to grow the district and give kids more opportunities to learn. So I'm super proud of the hard work that you all have put into trying something new and uh, 
uh, pitching it to the kids. And I'm just, I'm so proud of the kids and all their achievements as well. So it's exciting time. Uh, echo the same thing. Um, it's just been a good year. Uh, had a lot of exciting uh, movement in our sports. Uh, Dutch, I appreciate you coming in and helping us out. Uh, with AD, it's uh, we've done good. Uh, Mr. Williams, thanks for coming on the board and having us out with the admin down there. We need that. And thank you. You've done it uh, really well. So we appreciate that. Uh, just proud of our kids. I was at the uh, Orange Assembly for the high school. Man, it went great. Yeah, feel good. <laughs> See all those kids getting those awards is really good. So I'm just real proud of them. I'm number thirty. New business. Yep. Two things. Gotcha. Um, I just want to share with you the plaque that Miss Sontag uh, received for the JLM program. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't think she had it last month. That's why. And so, mm -hmm. and she's not here tonight. So I'm just going to let you guys share this with you. Uh, second thing, I have a resignation letter. And we received this today, so we didn't have time to put it on the agenda. Okay. Uh, to whom it may concern, uh, this uh, <clears throat> this year has been an amazing school year. I am so thankful that I had the opportunity to teach at such a wonderful school. The administration support staff have been nothing but helpful. I was blessed to be part of the perfect third grade team. I am sad to announce that I am resigning from my teaching position effective May 17, 2019. I am getting married and moving to Arizona to be with my fiance. I have learned so much from Henry to Public Schools this year, and I will be forever thankful. Sincerely, Tacey Sims. Awesome. Well, congratulations to her. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I have for new business. Okay. All right. Item number 31. I have a motion to adjourn. Oh, yes, ma'am. We need a motion on 30 on that resignation letter. Oh, we'll accept it. I guess you're right. Okay. I'll make that. I'll motion. back up. Second. There you go. All in favor of Pam Yes. David Bullard? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Thank you very much. Keep me in line. <laughs> uh, 31, a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. All in favor of Yes. David Bullard? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Eight, 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 eight,